Good day, gentlemen and ladies. Today we are the uh, 19th of October. The subject of my video is about the early maintenance of your generator. So if you didn't do it, it's about time because uh, it's not the good time to do it when in uh, winter, nasty weather, it's going to hit you. <laughs> All right, so please stick around. Cheers. All right, folks. So this year video will be different because I've done many videos in regard of this generator it's a honda 6500 x yx it's because the winter cold so please do look under the screen of your the video there's a video description box i will put two links about doing the performing the generator uh, maintenance on that i have one included when i do the load test when, usually when i do the load test is i use my uh, uh, my welders or uh, I use it for other reasons um, when I power my RV, stuff like that. But my welder, what I found, it's uh, when you do your load test, at least bring up to 80% of the capacity of your generator. So that will uh, done that. Now, the reason why I'm telling you that to look at my video description is because I already done it. I already welded this summer with it. I already, uh, I, I just changed uh, the fuel, I just changed the, uh, I re -oiled the piston and uh, so I'm just gonna give you a quick 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 uh, tips about that so stick around. Right so my very first tip is make sure that you swipe everything on your generator, take a clean rag, dust it off, use compressed air and remove all the, uh, the, uh, the dust all around especially around the uh, the generator here all right you don't want any met uh, metal particles stick because there's live magnets in there so just remember is uh, do a, a nice very nice cleanup the only thing i suggest to you if your generator is not stored in a cool humidity control environment like my garage oil put a nice load of oil in some uh, critical parts like around your where you put your fuel this has a tendency to rust this is stainless steel but around the cap here it's uh there's no uh, protection because it's fuel so please do oil the, this part also for the ground just put a nice uh, the electric grease uh i have the electric grease right here this is the the electric grease right there all right this one is uh, clear, but there's uh, also various type of color. The dielectric grease will keep the, the ground contact, not, uh, not getting corroded, okay? Uh, the other thing too is when you do the cleanup of your generator, make sure that you clean the air filter, just blow the, it's easy to remove. You just re uh, open it and you, uh, there's the uh, filter element and just uh, make sure you clean it i'm just gonna close it like that i already the only thing left right now is just the uh dusting off uh just hold on i'm just gonna close that all right now make sure that you you did uh, close the the bowl here okay there's that little screw here make sure then you empty it unscrew it the fuel will drop from that little drain right there and then remove the screw and oil it. The spark plug here, remove it. Put a lot of oil, like I mean four tablespoons inside the piston cylinder with oil, your oiler. Oil the spark plug. And then, and this is very important, and I learned that not long ago, not many years ago. Close your, the, the valve on the compression stroke. Right now it is on the compression stroke, but if I'm going down like this, oh boy. That's the compression stroke, and then that's the first one, and then this one. Yeah, oh yes. So the way you determine, you see, I'm doing the compression stroke is all the valve are closed, and so no um, ambient air, humid summer air will go inside the piston and uh, and uh, create uh, rust. And that's the reason why when you oil it, push it, uh, pull it very, uh, several times and be, don't put your face in front of the uh, spark plug old because you're gonna receive oil. I think it's uh, one of the part of my video. <laughs> so I re-oil everything, so just remember that. 
So make sure you close this. So that way the fuel line here, it's all empty. And then uh, all the, uh, the, the, drain, the drain screw here, all the cylinder, like I'm telling you, all the spark plug, close it. And when you pull it, close it on a, a compression stroke. Make sure it's a compression stroke. You feel it, there's the first one, then the second one, then you're in business, okay? Now, if your generator is still outside, now I'm gonna talk about the fuel. Now the fuel, what I do here is I put the preservative fuel and I buy the highest octane that you can get. Sadly here, this, they had that crazy idea to put uh, ethanol in, into high grade, the uh, 91% octane fuel. It's, well, it make me mad, all right? It's uh, land should be used for feeding, not, I mean, we have plenty of fuel around the world. So anyway, end of the subject, all right? So what I've done is I put a higher octane booster that will compensate, they compensate with the uh, the loss of that uh, shit octane, uh, not octane, but the ethanol. <laughs> and I put also a preservative fuel and I fill up. And when I fill up, I fill up all the way to the cap. I don't mind if even with the, comp uh, the atmospheric pressure change, I have a fuel spill. That will, uh, that will uh, I mean, there will be no corrosion. Now, if your generator is stored outside in a cold environment, then buy on the top of what I just said, like a preservative fuel, also an octane booster, but buy also an antifreeze fuel additive, all right? Because it's pretty cold up there and in the North States, uh, North America States, there's a lot of uh, cold temperature like in Minnesota. <laughs> all right, so that's, the way you keep your generator ongoing. I bought that generator in 2000, huh, I try to remember, 11. And it's, I mean, it's a Honda. Yes, it's more expensive. Yes, but I've got services when I need parts. I can call the Honda dealer. They will, there's always a, a small engine Honda dealer everywhere in any region. I can have service with it. I can have parts. They know their stuff and so far, uh, I mean, it's uh, 13 years now, I, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, 13 years since I have the, uh, sorry about that, I think my battery or my, maybe the battery connection need to be uh, clean, that's, I just changed the battery, but I, I have to clean the, the battery connection and camera, so basically what I'm telling you is buy uh, antifreeze fuel, make sure you have that, okay, uh, make sure then uh, when you finish, close it off, uh, breaker off, this something I forget, you just like that off everything and uh, you should be it, all right? And uh, when you cool it on the store, uh, outside environment, make sure you put a nice tarp so it's not exposed to rain or uh, snow, okay? So that will be my short video about my generator, oil the piston rings through the spark plug logs, uh, spark plugs, oh, that's one good advice, buy high quality, Try to have it in all free, but put additive into it to boost it, clean it, uh, and also do a one here load test. And I use also when you do your oil change, use synthetic oil. This one is 1030 synthetic oil because synthetic oil doesn't de decay until two years, all right, roughly. If you use manual oil, it's good within months. After six or seven months, change your, your, your mineral, mineral oil. Mineral oil is good for those periods of time. Pass that, change it, okay? So uh, this is my best advice, and it's a short video, but please do it. It's the perfect time, it's fall season. The air is dry, everything is performed, so when we're gonna have our nasty uh, winter storms, uh, the generator would be in service so that's a kind of remember for you folks and thank you very kindly for all your standing support comment let's help each other and please do look at my video description I'm gonna put two for you and uh, yeah just try to remember and if oh yes what I like when we exchange please on the comment put uh, marks like uh, you know my <laughs> yellow and bright 
and say, hey folks, by the way, David, forget to mention that, so please do that, okay? Well, let's say each other, there's not a <laughs> winning competition here, it's just we're a uh, we're technical library <laughs> and we try to help each other, okay? And uh, I may forget something, I just think about it, everything is covered, okay? So, remember folks, life is good, all right? Cheers!